Hello. Uh, great presentation, gentlemen. Thank you. Uh, so, as a novice entering the, the space, uh, what would you recommend, given all the, the foregoing? The, the way to wet your feet, and, um, and then now, from a strategic standpoint, over the medium to long term, let's say from now to five years, how would you start, given the, the market conditions locally and internationally? All right, so the thing I would say is, um, for one, we want to be careful how we make recommendations because the way we operate is that we prescribe based on your situation. So we have, a, just like you consult with a, a doctor, a lawyer, any other profession, we'd have a one-on-one -on -one with you, find out what your situation is, and then write your prescription of your own. So I wouldn't want to just give you a general prescription because it's not one size, it's not one size that fits all. You're not, oh, you're not here? Okay. It's not one size that fits all in this business. But suffice it to say, the route for the individual investor, as I pointed out earlier, is the unit trust offerings. We have about six of them right now. Through those six unit trust offerings, you'll get access to most of the investment options here in Jamaica. But what I was pointing out in my presentation is that when we go further, we're going to provide the access to the broader world to new offerings, whether it is a, a unit trust or a portfolio management, as Sharon explained to you earlier. So the key to it is that you will have access to the different offerings, but your prescription will be different depending on your situation. So you mentioned that you're a novice, but I'm sure you're a little bit more than a novice, right? So when we talk to you, we get a better feel for what your situation is, and then we can make a prescription. But I'm telling you that the opportunities that are coming here in Jamaica should not be scoffed at because every country goes through a process like this. Where Barbados is right now is where Jamaica was probably six or seven years ago. Where what is happening in Trinidad is that at one point, Trinidad was the country that earned from oil, but where are they now compared to where we are now? So we have swallowed um, you know, some really big pills, but what we're seeing now is that we're reaping the benefit of those things. And the benefits have to be an opportunity to you. So you should look at these opportunities when we go forward to exploit them. Right, so I'll spend a little bit of devil's advocate there. But um, So you're suggesting then that starting with a unit trust is the best way to go to diversify and hedge your bits. Yes. Um, because I remember earlier the talk was about bonds and stocks right. and balancing that so that when there's, there's that inverse relationship. So when something happens in one market, Yes. It, it buffers the effects in the other. Right. But remember the key word here is diversification. You want to diversify your holdings so that when, as you pointed out, something bad happens in one market, then you don't lose the, all of your holdings. So by diversifying, you spread the risk, and so your losses would be limited in the event of a crisis. Okay.